Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Prada, but we're already friends, so you can just call me Daniel. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Unmess My Nest. You guys, I feel like I say this every time, but I am so excited about today's video. I think this is actually probably, most definitely, my most favorite makeover yet. We are making over my living room in my brand new house in the Hollywood Hills. Well, it's not really brand new. It was built in the 1920s. So let's take a look at the mood board and let's get into the video. So if I had to define my style in home decor and design, it would probably be the word storytelling. I don't necessarily like everything new. I'm not a big fan of that sad beige type of look. I like all different types of styles, but what I really like is storytelling in your home. I want when you walk into my home, I want you to feel something and to feel like you're getting to know me, whether it's the art on the walls or the fresh cut flowers or just the decor that's been sourced and found on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm that boy who wants to keep things affordable. Some things, yeah, I will splurge on, but most things, I'm a big fan of antiquing. I'm a big fan of going to the thrift store. I'm a big fan of finding cool pieces that have a special something and pieces that have a history that I can carry on into my own life. It's the way I show off my personality. So I wanna show you guys exactly how I'm doing that in today's video. We've got a truck moving, yes we do. This truck has been beeping for five minutes when I'm trying to film my intro to my video even though I'm supposed to get a haircut in 20 minutes that I'm gonna be late to, yeah, yeah. So as you can tell by the mood board, there's a lot of color, a lot of history, a lot of great pieces that I have found throughout Facebook Marketplace and really affordable pieces because I'm not one to spend. I'm the boy next door, I'm your best friend, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this all on a budget without spending a fortune. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Storm and Monty are here. We have the doors all taped up. We have the ceilings taped up. We have the floors taped up. And we are ready to roll, buddy. Thank you to everybody who voted in my polls and over on Instagram. This is what we ended up going with, Botanical Garden from Dunn Edwards in an eggshell finish, so it is still wipeable. We have our supplies, we have a little paint situation set up, and we have a couple brushes and a little detail brush as well. You guys, it's the next day. The painting is done. I let it cure and dry overnight. I did a little touch up this morning and I have a green living room. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, it's the perfect shade. It's so beautiful. I did the doors. I did three coats on here and dark colors do show a lot of the imperfections, but I mean, I'm not mad at it at all. Fireplace just really pops. We're also gonna paint this mantle. The white is just not doing it for me. Also, the lights are in. These are the new lights. So I actually got a very expensive version of these in the past, but I found a dupe on Amazon. So I will link those down below, of course. <gasps> Oops, I forgot some tape. Should we do some tape pulling up here? This is where we're at. What do you think, Storm? You like it? But next is a very important part, the rug. I'm very particular about rugs. I need something that is gonna hold up. I need something that is washable because also getting your rugs cleaned is extremely expensive. I remember I spent once, I think I bought a rug for $800 and it was like $600 to have it professionally cleaned. So I was specifically looking for a rug that I could throw in the wash if I need to or just spot clean and it will hide most of the stains and I found that. All right, the rug is here. I do have a rug pad underneath it already. It's so perfect. So here's the information on the rug. This is the Banks rug. It's a collaboration between Magnolia Home and Laloy, and it is just beautifully soft. It still has some movement in here. Okay, the rug is down and the couch just arrived. I showed it to you guys earlier in the mood board and I ordered a couch that arrives in a box from Albany Park. I could not find a green velvet couch that was deep and wide and big without spending over $10,000, baby. That's not in the budget here at Mr. Prada. We are budget girls. However, I did find something that I really, really liked visually. Unfortunately, I don't know what it looks like in person, so fingers crossed that this green velvet is the perfect shade. I'm scared. A couple of 
cozy seat just for you from Albany Park. All right, moment of truth. So everything comes packaged up neatly in boxes. It's super easy. Oh my goodness. Look how stunning the green is, Monty. Almost the exact shade as the walls. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna finish unboxing this and we will put it together, together. This is essentially what I got right here. This is the Kova sectional, but I got it in the velvet. As you can see, I love the space between them. There's room for pets. And Albany Park is actually offering you guys a little discount, so you can click the link in the description of the video and grab that discount. I also like how this under here, under the couch is open, so you can hide little things, maybe like a little basket. That's awesome. One chair down. This took me about maybe five minutes to put together. We have a corner. We have one seat, two seat, three seat, and then another corner. So I think four more. Oh, that's good. I'm not even being paid to say this. I wish I was, but this couch is everything. It's very, very comfortable also. It's washable and you can just clean off any stains with a microfiber towel, which is a big plus for me. <gasps> I'm obsessed, I'm gonna put together the rest of the couch and I'll check in in a second. One thing I wanted to point out, guys, is that this couch is modular, so you just pop in these pieces, you can add chairs, you can take away chairs as your family grows. So there's a knob on this side and a claw on this side, and we're just gonna line them up and push them together, and that's how they attach. Oh my gosh, it's in, it's huge. Honestly, it is massive. It takes up so much of the room, but it really works. Like we have this full on hallway here, there's space and it's gonna be just like a beautiful communal area. Look how inviting this is. My coffee table is arriving in the next 10 minutes. I showed you guys that in the mood board. It's vintage, it's from 1962, has a beautiful wooden base and a glass top. I wanted to do a coffee table in here that has a glass top so I don't lose the vision, not the vision, the like ocular space because normally coffee tables, it's just like a big block like marble or wood. I wanted the transparency so you can see to the floor and so it also gives the illusion that you're not losing space but you're gaining somewhere to do things it's a really big coffee table so i'm gonna let the guys bring it in it's from facebook marketplace i got it for 200 bucks the lady was selling it for 350 and i talked her down because there were some scratches and whatever but it's vintage and it's really cool and it feels like it belongs in this house so i'll show you guys that in a second monty do you want to see the coffee table it's here you guys <sighs> look at how gorgeous it's huge it's five feet wide Look at this base. This has been in this lady's house since 1962. So I'm gonna assume that it was made then or created then. It's beautiful. It has a very, very thick glass top, extremely heavy. This wood detail, I'm not sure exactly what style this is, but it is gorgeous. You could not find this today, and if you did, it'd be extremely expensive. And I love that you can see through. It doesn't look like it's taking up the space. Okay, it is the next day of the paint on the fireplace. I actually had to do three coats, but it looks fabulous. Let's take a quick look. Look how gorgeous this is. It truly just brings out all these stunning tones in the brick. I did go with this matte black and I really, really, really like it. It's very different for me. I'm never, I've never been this bold with black paint ever. And of course I painted the underneath. Hey guys, so I just want to take a moment, just take a, Take a little break. I do a lot of this home stuff mostly because it helps with my mental health. I love designing. I like making my house feel like a home. When I was a kid, I grew up in a really turbulent household. I'm the child of immigrants and really it wasn't a priority to make the house 
cozy and warm. And growing up in a turbulent household, you know, sometimes I really didn't feel like I could be myself. I couldn't be emotional. I couldn't talk about how I'm feeling. And honestly, that led to a domino effect of issues throughout high school and college. And that's why I'm super excited to talk about today's video sponsor, which is BetterHelp. Finding a therapist, honestly, is kind of like dating. It, it takes a while to find that right therapist. And if you're like me growing up and didn't have necessarily a massive pool to choose from, BetterHelp is amazing because you can do it all from the comfort of your own home. By filling out a few quick questions online, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in just a few days, which is epic. And if you don't hit it off with your therapist right away, which is pretty normal, it's happened to me a few times, you know, it takes a minute to find exactly who you're compatible with, BetterHelp makes it really easy to switch. You guys can go to betterhelp.com slash Daniel Prada to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. If you click the link below in my description, it helps support this channel and gives you guys 10% off. So if you're dealing with anything regarding mental health, whether it's anxiety or depression, I have been through it myself. You know, life is all about ups and downs, but BetterHelp makes it really easy to get the tools that you need to really approach life a little differently. And I know for me personally, I don't like talking to friends. Of course, you know, I like being open, but I don't wanna trauma dump on anyone. Sometimes I'm a little uncomfortable to talk about certain things with family and close friends. I just wanna open up to somebody that is there and supportive, but also at the end of the day, you know, I can just click that computer shut and take the tools that they have sent my way and apply them to my life. So if you guys are interested in therapy, you can click the link down below in my description, go to betterhelp.com slash Daniel Prada for 10% off your first month of therapy. All right, let's get back into the video. Now let's get into my favorite part, which is the designing and styling. So I am not a connoisseur of art. I go to a store and I'm not really inspired by what a lot of stores are selling. And I also don't wanna be spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on art pieces, especially when I'm probably gonna swap them out. But my own personal style has always been vintage eclectic storytelling. I want my house to have a feel. I want when you walk in to tell a story, I want you to be able to just envision the type of person I am if I'm not in the room just by the things that I have on my walls. So the easiest way to do that and the cheapest is by putting art on the walls that you genuinely love. So whether it's a movie or an art piece you find on the internet, print it out, get it framed. It's probably cheaper than buying art from a store. And I found a lot of pieces on Etsy, but also I found a lot of pieces on Facebook Marketplace. So let's take a little art tour. So since this home was built in the 1920s and I love old Hollywood films, I decided to go with old Hollywood theme in the house and really just pay homage to the area that I live in and just the history of the home. We have one of my favorite movies, Sunset Boulevard with Gloria Swanson. This might be a little too jarring for the green walls, but I really love this piece. I have this piece, which I actually had made by an artist, I'll link him down below. It is the Brooklyn Bombshell. I forget her name, but she was an actress. This piece was actually in the background of one of my favorite movies called White Christmas and I took a screenshot and my friend reproduced it and it's gorgeous. Over here, I think you guys have seen this piece before. It's an original Marilyn Monroe. She was in Life Magazine. This was her final photo shoot for her final movie that actually never was finished. This was taken in the summer of 1962. She's drenched over this gorgeous pool. This pool scene actually is on the internet. It's from a movie that is called Something's Got to Give, directed by John Cukor, I believe and it's one of my favorite shots of her. This was a magazine that I found in my house, my last house when I moved in, and I had it carefully disassembled and framed. Another one of my favorite movies, Mildred Pierce with Joan Crawford, and the first Marilyn Monroe movie that I've ever seen when I was a kid, How to Marry a Millionaire, which is always the vibe, right? But one of my favorite pieces is right here, the Hollywood Land sign. This was actually created by my friend Joan Swanson at the Salt Air Farmhouse. She does request, she has these beautiful canvas art pieces, and she stitches on whatever you want. I will link her shop down below, but I really love this piece it's it just tells a story and it's gorgeous Okay, now that the artwork is done in the room, let's talk about the furniture. So all of the furniture is thrifted, vintage, or I actually found a piece on the side of the road, which if you guys are interested in looking at, you can go check out my Instagram and my TikTok, just at Mr. Prada, and the whole story and how I designed it is over there. But all of the pieces, like I said, vintage, antique, 
you can go and buy stuff in stores, but it's really such a fulfilling feeling to go and find stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, it takes, it can be a little annoying, people are a little weird, but sometimes you can haggle and you can get something for a lot cheaper than it's listed for because people just want to get rid of stuff on there. So first piece is this beautiful brass and velvet chair. It has these gorgeous tassels, which I am just so in love with. And it's just cool. It'll probably stay right there next to the fireplace. Maybe I'll throw some pillows on it. Next is this tea table. I got this at the Melrose Flea Market for about 20 bucks, but it has this beautiful inlay vintage tile. And I love these colors. It's really stunning. It might be a little end table. I might use it outside. Then I really wanted a bar cart, but everything I was seeing was just, it had no character to it. I found this piece, which has some inlay little birds. This looks like a Japanese motif, maybe some irises there. It was used as a prop in some sort of movie or another, but it's really nice. It still rolls and it works wonderful. Then I needed a mirror for this space. This is not my dream mirror, but I got this for a hundred bucks. It has a lot of character, just fits the space really nicely. Then I was in love with this. This is a little rolling piece. Got this on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks, has a little drawer. This piece will probably stay here as well. It'll probably just be for keys, a little landing area, maybe with a little tray or something of that sort. However, this next piece is the one that I fell in love with. It was $250, so it was kind of a splurge. However, it did need a little work, but I'm really happy I have it. It is so spectacular. It's a showstopper. Look at this beautiful cabinet. This is a 1920s Chinese wooden cabinet with inlay tiles. These are, this is real ceramic tiles. It is from the 1920s or so I've been told, and you can really tell by not only the hardware, but the wood and you know, it is, it's quite vintage. The drawers I will definitely use and I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll put some stuff in here. I'll probably just put board games in here and keep it pretty light. However, if you can see under here, I actually had to attach these legs. I got them on Amazon. It had no legs. I'm assuming they were broken off, but I just screwed them into the bottom and they seem to be holding up really well. For styling out the area, I have all of these goodies. Everything has its own little story from glassware. These were really cheap, but look how beautiful these pieces are. I think this was five bucks. This is a 1960s ashtray I got for 20 bucks. I caught these really cool vintage tiles. This one I think was two bucks at an estate sale. And this is really, this is really special to me. So this is a tile that was in Marilyn, Mon it's a reproduction, but it was in Marilyn Monroe's home. It was actually outside of her front door in her garden area, and it says Cursum Perficia, which means in Latin, my journey ends here. So I had this reproduced, I had this hand drawn by an artist on Etsy. I will also link her down below. She does so many custom pieces and it's beautiful. I have a larger one for my outside garden area, but I thought this would be a nice coaster. Again, another little glass piece here. Just showing that you can find stuff for great prices. These were these were quite affordable. This beautiful Asian-inspired bronze tray was $5 at a yard sale. I mean, look at the quality. I found this on Facebook Marketplace at an estate sale. It reminds me of Gone with the Wind and that cinematography in that movie is gorgeous. This I found at a yard sale for $5. Like, look how happy this girl is. No idea who she is, but I had to pick this up. This is another cool piece. I found this at my last house when I lived in Beverly Hills. This actually has a name on it. Randolph P. Winslow, Youth Activities 1959. Beverly Hills Citizen Community Service Award. This was buried in the backyard in the gardens. I don't know how long I've been there, but I cleaned it up. And of course, books. Books are a really easy way to style your home. This is my collection. This is a small part of my collection. I have a bunch of candles. This is the fragrance of my home. It is Ness New York Wilderness, which is Midnight Moss and Vetiver. This is my favorite candle. I've been burning it for months and months and months. And what I love most, a percentage of sales for the rest of the year go to Next for Autism, which is a nonprofit in support of those with autism, which is amazing. So definitely check them out. Again, it's just beautiful. It's woody. It just gives the room such a rich outdoorsy smell and the color goes perfectly with the couch. So what's the best way to find pillows that fit your space? Let me walk you through it. So I wanted really big pillows, but I could not find good ones that were in my price range. So I found these inserts actually 
online, just on Amazon. These will be linked down below. They're size 26 by 26. For a big couch, you want big pillows. And I really love like a big cozy pillow you can just cuddle up with. So I found these on Amazon and I decided to try and find some pillow covers. At first, I really liked this velvet look. I found these at Ikea for like 14 bucks, but upon, you know, sitting on it, I didn't really like the vision of velvet on velvet. I do have a vintage pillow, but I'm a little iffy with vintage pillows. This one's nice because it was barely used, so I might use this as a little accent pillow. Then there are vintage reproductions. This is a really cute, I love the texture of the tassels. And I love this kind of citrone color, a little chartreuse moment. This is from Urban Outfitters. This guy was, I think, eight bucks at World Market. I don't think I'm gonna use it. It's pretty dull. It doesn't have any shape to it, but it was nice to see what it would look like. And then these, I actually found at Home Goods. So these look like they're vintage. They have great texture. They have this piping on the sides. They're really, really soft. And they were, I think, $19.99, which is a great price. However, Home Goods and TJ Maxx are super hit or miss, and I haven't found anything like them recently, but these are great. So when I was shopping for all of these, I was actually hit with an Instagram ad from this brand called Bedthrift. This isn't sponsored, but I really fell in love with the colors. Look how gorgeous and muted these are. I found the most beautiful linen pillowcases. So let's take a look. Look how stunning these colors are. So this is like a warm terracotta and like a lighter clay color. And this is a like mint green with a more sage green, but I just love the texture and I also love the shape of it. I haven't seen anything like this. I thought, you know, it would give a little dimension to the couch with all this green on green on green. I didn't want to go that heavy. So I think the browns with this other shade of green will just be really cool. And it kind of gives like a little modern touch to the couch, which is cool. So whether I use these on the couch or not, they are great. I'm obsessed with their color selection at Bed Threads and they also have furniture. They have Looks like they have bath stuff, but this is really cool that they sent this. Like, look how pretty these are. Okay, now it's time for a DIY. You guys, I have these two frosted windows by the front door that I absolutely hate, but instead of taking out the window, I found these privacy films and they looked really, really beautiful online. I'm gonna install it, fingers crossed, it doesn't look cheap. Let me show you the windows. They're just, it's just not the vibe, guys. I know what they were doing when they installed, but I'm just, I hate the look of frosted glass, at least in this location, maybe in bathrooms it works. So let's see if this works. Okay, right off the bat, I love the sunset shades with greens and blues, very naturey. That looks real to me. Holding it against the glass. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It actually gives it like a milky tone with the, with the frost. Okay, so I have lined this up best I can. I've measured the length and the width. We're gonna cut the bottom now the box cutter and pray that this is straight. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's see how this works. Oh my God. Shocked how pretty this is. It looks real. It doesn't look cheap. Wow. I'm taking a quick break because I've been running around like a wild man all day long. I have to head down to the flower market. I'm trying to see if there's some peonies in season. I have to get a few tabletop trees and some flowers and we're just gonna dress the space. But I will see you guys very shortly with the final reveal. All right, I am so excited. The room is looking so good.
Well guys, that is the full living room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I poured my heart and soul into this, so please, please, please show lots of love in the comments, like this video, share it with a friend, and make sure to be subscribed. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys so much. Make sure to leave things better than how you found it, and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Love you so much, bye.